All right, Waller. We're in the market for some morally dubious military operations. What do you have for us? I want to assemble a task force of the most dangerous people on the planet who I think can do some good. Sir? They're bad guys. Exactly. So if anything goes wrong, you blame them. We have a built-in deniability. What makes you think you can control them? Because getting people to go against their self-interest is what I do for a living. What's her case? Dr. Harleen Quinzel? Infamous case of prime manipulation. She was an intern at the asylum. One of the best ones, in fact. She was granted the chance to work with the Joker, one of our top priorities, a criminal that treated Arkham like his own personal jungle gym. She was assigned to gather inside information on the clown Prince of Crime, but instead, she developed an unprofessional bond and somehow managed to do the one thing we thought could never happen at Arkham Asylum in a millennium. start off with applying white foundation over your face, ears, and neck. Just a tip, I don't recommend using white face paint because it doesn't give the same look. A white foundation is definitely the best way to go. So for the eyes, you're going to need NYX and Hot Blue and NYX and Wild Orchid. Apply the color onto your lid with your fingers for a messy look. Then drag it down your cheekbones twice. And then back toward your hairline as if you were crying and you just wiped your tears away. Then apply it under your outer bottom lash line. Next, take an angled brush and draw on the watermark streaks with the same blue. Then you're going to need a dark blue. You're going to be applying that on your eyelid, on your bottom lash line, and in the wing area where you usually draw a wing for eyeliner to create an ombre from dark blue to light blue. Then you're going to need a light warm brown. This is the secret ingredient to achieving her look. 
Apply this on your bottom lash line. On your top lash line and carry it out into a wing. This is pretty much creating a shadow for the eyeliner coming up. It's what makes Harley's eyes look very defined without having too much black liner on. Then take your black liner and do a medium line on the top and bottom lash line all around your eye and apply it into your waterline and you do want this to be into a little rounded wing. Once you've applied it, use your finger to really smudge that out. It does not need to be perfect, you do not want it defined in any way. Then you're going to take the dark blue again and apply it over your eyeliner so the liner isn't too obvious. Now you just want to do the same exact steps on the other eye but in pink. For the darker color, use the reddish maroon as the darker shade. Since pink is much brighter than blue, you're going to need to mask the eyeliner a little bit more on this side. So apply a lot of maroon eyeshadow over the black liner, just to make sure the black line isn't defined at all. Then just apply a light coat of mascara to each eye. Now for the brows, I'm just filling them into an arch with a low front. I really recommend watching my eyebrow shape video to get an in-depth tutorial on how to do that. Now for the lips, you want to line them in any dark lip liner. The color doesn't necessarily matter because we're going to cover it up. We just need this so the lipstick doesn't bleed out. Next, you want to apply a hot, bright red lipstick all over. So since Harley's lips are actually crimson red much like her shirt, take a super dark red matte lipstick and apply it onto your lip line. Then take a brush and blend the dark red into the light red. You're pretty much creating an ombre lip. So for the tattoos, here's a really awesome trick. Take sandwich wrap or wax paper and draw the tattoos onto it with a lot of liquid eyeliner. Then stamp it onto your face. Now you have an outline to work with that you can just fill right in. Now white can definitely alter and wash out your features, so use a light gray to contour. I'm contouring my nose to look more like Harley's nose, so you can follow what I'm doing if you want the same look. Now for Harley's nails, her right hand has alternating red and blue polish, and her left hand has the word evil written onto it, which I did with a sharpie. Now this amazing wig is from Wiggis Fashion, which I did cut shorter myself, but I'll link it down below for you guys to check it out. And this is the complete look. Now let's go ahead and move on to the Joker. So for Joker's green hair, I'm going to be using Jerome B. Wild Temporary Colored Hairspray in the color Jaguar Green. Just a tip, you're going to need two bottles of this and avoid touching it while you're putting it on because you're going to get it literally everywhere. Be sure to wipe away any of the green off the neck and the ears before it dries or else you're going to be green in places where you should not be green. Now before you do your makeup, definitely exfoliate your skin or your makeup is going to look very patchy and a little crusty. Also be sure that you shave. Kyle forgot to shave so we're kind of working around it here, but you definitely want no facial hair whatsoever. Now the first step is to apply the white foundation. Like I mentioned earlier, you don't want to use white face paint because you're going to look too white and cakey like the past jokers. The new Joker has a natural skin bleach look which foundation can definitely give you. Once you apply it, wipe away any makeup from the eyebrows itself because we need to cover them up. 
Now you just want to cut a good amount of glue off a washable glue stick and mix it onto the back of your hand until it's a workable paste. Now the secret to getting good eyebrow coverage is that you use a lot of glue. It's a common mistake that people often don't use enough glue, which causes the eyebrows to show through regardless, so definitely be generous with it. So apply a thick first layer onto the brow, and then brush it through just to make sure that it gets through all the little cracks and crevices of your eyebrow. Then you want to blow dry it until it's hard. Now apply another coat and follow the same exact steps. If this layer needs smoothing, do not comb it. All you need to do is dip your finger in cold water and smooth it down. Now when you are satisfied with the coverage, powder it with translucent powder. Next you want to take a very orangey tan foundation and cover up the glue until it looks like skin. Then you want to powder it again. Then take the white foundation and cover it like normal and be sure that your coverage all over is nice and even. Alright, onto the lips, moisturize them and apply Lime Crimes lipstick in the color Wicked. If you have very thin lips, make sure you overline them and if you don't have thin lips, then you want to just leave them as it is. So Kyle wanted to look more like the movie version Joker rather than the magazine version Joker, so that's what we will be doing today. So we're going to be starting off with a light gray to apply on the eyelid, in the crease, around and under the eyes. Then apply really dark gray eyeshadow on the eyelid since Joker's eyes are the darkest there. Apply that same eyeshadow on the lower lash line. So the Joker has really red water lines, so to recreate that look, use a red eyeliner or maroon eyeshadow and apply it onto the bottom water line. Now keep in mind, I have a super bright studio light on his face right now, so the makeup looks a little lighter than it does in natural lighting, so wait until the end of this to see what it really looks like. So I'm going to be using black eyeshadow and a tiny brush to apply this because his tattoos are really faded and eyeshadow gives that effect. But for the damaged tattoo, I recommend using liquid liner and then to fade it out like the rest, use the white powder to dull it down. Now you want to take a mix of red and black paint or eyeshadow and create joker scars. To make the scars appear more natural, apply a powder over it as well. I really recommend using a picture reference so you know where all his scars are located. Lastly, you want to draw a very faded star on his right temple and then take your finger and kind of rub it off so it looks very, very faded. This is his most faded tattoo, so it should be the least noticeable. Now onto the body, just cover it in foundation and use paint, eyeliner, or even a sharpie if you're daring enough to draw on the tattoos. It's kind of hard to explain how to draw, so if you don't feel comfortable drawing them on, I'll link down below where you can purchase the temporary stick-on tattoos. So be sure not to forget his bullet wounds. I'm going to be taking maroon eyeshadow on the back of an eraser pencil and just stamping it on.
And when you're finished with the tattoos, apply your silver grills, which I'll also link down below for you guys to order, and you're done. Now before I end this video, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who took part in it. They did a wonderful job. All the actors, phenomenal. Thank you, Joker, my Joker, for doing an amazing job and staying for 20 hours of filming. Uh, that was a lot. We had to shoot it all in one day. That was honestly really hard, but it was very rewarding to finish it. I also want to thank the vocalist of the intro, which her name is Faith, and she is an amazing, amazing singer. Um, if you guys want to check out her other covers and content, I'm going to link all of her information down below for you guys to check out, and I really recommend it. I also want to thank my brother for the music that he's been doing for the Suicide Squad. You guys are wondering about the dubstep in my last song. That will be out on my channel for you guys to listen to because he made that and he did an incredible job. You have to really listen to the rest of it. Like if you thought the intro was good, the rest of that is like 10 times better. So I'm going to be giving you guys information on that song for you. Um, so that is the end of this video. I truly, honestly hope you guys enjoy it. I tried to give it my best and if you guys did like it, give it a thumbs up, show your support. But before I go, I'm doing another giveaway. So in the Suicide Squad related giveaway, there are two prizes, so there's going to be two winners for it, and I'm holding up four fingers. It should only be two. So the first prize you can win is this Joker snap bag, and when I was shopping, I thought this was like the coolest thing ever. Like, I looked at it, and I'm just like, I have to get it. I have to get it. So I got it for you guys, and basically it has the Joker's face on one side and a skull face on the other and then it just has his laughter written all around it. I thought it was a very, very cool design, especially if you're a Joker fan. I'm personally a Joker fan, not so much of a Harley fan. Um, so I fangirled over this, and I'm pretty sure one of you guys are fangirling over this right now. So that is the first prize that you can win. Now the second prize you can win is this Harley Quinn um, merchandise cosplay shirt. Um, I got it mainly just because I feel like I could complete somebody's cosplay with this or you could wear this, I don't know, to school. I feel like it's appropriate for school because it's just like a regular shirt, just styled like Harley's. Um, I don't know. I just thought that would be cool. So I picked it up and I got it in a size medium. So I just figured that would be the most popular sizing that you guys are. So the first way to enter is on Instagram and all you have to do is repost a photo of this. I'm going to have like some kind of fancy type of picture thing that you have to repost but it'll be on my page and you'll know exactly what it is and you're going to repost that put the hashtag jbundy giveaway in the caption and you have to tell me which item you want do you want the joker snapback or do you want the harley quinn shirt you choose um so yeah that's how you enter on instagram and you can enter as many times as you want um and the second way to enter is on twitter now on twitter all you have to do is repost a link of this video onto twitter hashtag jbundy giveaway and tell me which item you want to win and you are entered on there and when the giveaway is closed, I will be announcing the winners both on Instagram and on Twitter so everyone is aware. And these are my Instagram and Twitter accounts in case you guys don't know that already. So, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Halloween is coming up soon, October, you know, the fall season and whatnot. Um, if you guys have any requests for that, comment them down below now. That way I'm prepared for them in October. I have a lot of ideas in my head already. I'm trying to aim for unique, rare, or reinvented costumes. Uh, stuff you don't necessarily see a lot. So if you guys have really unique ideas that you would like to share with me or you want me to recreate for your costume this year, please let me know and I might take that in consideration. So thank you guys and I will see you guys in my next video.